first story is titled Am I the a-hall for making my mom feel like a bad mom and telling her off for leaving? I, female 18, have two little sisters, 15 and 16. My mom had an affair when I was 14, which caused my parents' divorce, and she later remarried her husband. He has a hell of a lot of kids, 7, 8, 10, 12, and 13. My mom never even gave us a chance to get to know them or anything. We were just forced to move into a bigger house and call them family. I still live with my mom. Due to my dad in and out of the hospital, I was never able to live with him. Now, we can't even visit him because he's high risk and could easily catch COVID. So we're still figuring out how we can see him without risking his health. My mom pulled a stunt last Monday. She left with her husband for a week to have them time. She didn't say anything to me nor any of the other kids until I called her asking where she was. She didn't even leave any money for us to shop for food. Yes, she left during a freaking pandemic. She returned literally an hour ago, 12 a.m., and I blew up at her because I missed work all week and might get fired. I missed practice and risk getting kicked off the team. And the three oldest kids, not my bio sisters, were so horribly behaved the entire week. I told her they're not my responsibility for one. And she knows I'm not comfortable babysitting anyone's kids except my sisters. I told her the next time she and her husband wanted them time to lock themselves in their room rather than leaving and being inconsiderate. She started crying and said I'm making her feel like a bad mom when she didn't do anything wrong. My aunt called me and said I'm grown and need to get over my little girl feelings and apologize to my mom because I was mean for no reason. I said I had a reason to be mean and I wasn't apologizing. I'm only now writing this because I feel like maybe I was over the top and a hole -ish. So, am I the a-hole? Now, for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Your mother was incredibly responsible. You have no obligation to tend to your younger siblings or the stepkids. Those children are her and her husband's responsibility. By leaving them like that, she was certainly behaving like a bad mom. Honestly, you would have been within your rights to call social services and report abandoned children. Because that is what she did. She just walked away from a bunch of minor children without making any sort of arrangements for their care. She didn't even leave food for them. That is a failure for her most basic duty as a mother. You are your own person. You're not an extension of her. You don't have to fill in for her whenever she feels like abdicating mother duties. Honestly, you would have been within your rights to call social services and report abandoned children. Absolutely. If she does it again, call CPS. At the very least, she needs to tell the person babysitting that they're babysitting. And make sure the kids have food. Ripes. This is the most horrifying and irresponsible thing I've ever read. I'm so mad on behalf of the OP. OP, you are not the hall in any way. Is your mother insane? Not a hole. This was literally child abandonment. You may be 18, but you can't take care of seven minors on your own. If she pulls a stunt like this again, you should call CPS. Absolutely this. I work in a related field and can confirm most states would take action to this behavior. OP, you're more of an adult than your mom is, and definitely not a hole. Not a hole. You're still in school and being made to babysit seven children, and she has the audacity to say you were mean for being upset at her? Being in trouble for work isn't a little girl problem either. WTF. Edit. I didn't think this called for CPS, and I'm hoping she doesn't do it again so I don't have to call them. Plus, I think they tell who makes a report, and I don't want to go through that. I am saving to move out, but I'm back some money because I had to come out of pocket to order food the first few days, then buy groceries. I also don't want to leave my sisters until at least my baby sister is 17. My cousin, Anne's daughter, has joined in and called me a child, she's 20, and a bad daughter for making my mom feel bad about having fun. My step-sibling's bio mom is an addict, I don't know any of her info anyways to get in contact with her. Edit 2. So, I told my mom the funds I spent the week she was gone, and she's going to pay me back for that. My boss texted me not to come into work, and I think that translates to, I'm fired. So, someone asked why I missed work when my sisters could have watched them. Well, the 7, 8, and 10 years old have online school, and needs help with a class setup and doing work, and my sisters have to go to their classes too. I see someone suggest I get custody of my sisters and live with my dad after isolation. I like that idea, and I'll have to talk to him about that. 
I will think about the CPS issue. The whole thing is just terrifying. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my mom I'm not giving her any baby updates? I'm 32 weeks pregnant with my second baby. Last scan was diagnosed with a defect showing left lung isn't growing well. Heart's not in the right spot and will require intubation and ventilation at birth and surgery shortly after. This means MIC Tom as well. We told our parents when we found out. My in-laws offered support and asked if we were going to make this news public. I said I'm waiting for follow-up tests to see how severe the prognosis is. I'm a very private person and hate putting my life out there to elicit sympathy. They ask if they could tell any of their friends if they ask how the pregnancy is going. They have a very tight-knit group who raised families together and it isn't uncommon to share this type of news with each other. I told my mother-in-law that I don't mind if she discusses it with some of her closer friends because they've been indirectly involved in our life through her. Many brought meals when my first was born and checked on me when I was going through postnatal depression and anxiety. Two days after the diagnosis, I got messages out of the blue from my family, who I haven't spoken to in years. The extent of our relationship is the occasional reaction to a post in social media, but never messages or questions about my life. Some of the messages were straight up to the point, your mom said something was wrong with your baby? With questions that I don't have answers to. But others were like, it's been a while, how are you? Since I don't have that type of relationship with them, I kept it to small talk. I called mom and blew up at her, said she didn't have the right to share my news, that I'd said that since I don't have all the answers, I don't want to be hounded with questions. I've been trying to avoid Dr. Google essays to avoid a million different scenarios. I didn't think I needed to ask to keep this to herself because it's personal in nature. She said, I just sent out a message asking for prayer. So-and-so's a nurse said you need to go see X specialist for another opinion. You're being extremely selfish and ungrateful towards people who want to support you. Then ended with, F it. Since you can't appreciate support and don't value a lifeline, just let me know when your baby's born. I don't want to hear anything else. I said that worked for me. Now I'm getting calls from family saying that I've really upset her. That I should let her know how things are going because she's really stressed out about her granddaughter. Part of me thinks I may have overreacted, and my husband said that I was so different to his parents than I was to her, but I genuinely appreciated that his parents asked permission about how much they were allowed to disclose, whereas my mom instantly made it all about her pain and worry. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. It's really unfortunate that you and your baby are going through this. It's not fair your mother broke your boundaries and is allowing her family to guilt trip you. You're freaking pregnant. The last thing any pregnant person needs is stress and turmoil, let alone someone with a difficult pregnancy. If they can't respect boundaries, they get put on a tighter leash. If mom is worried about her granddaughter, she can support her by not being an a-hole and stressing you out. She said it herself. Only tell her when baby is born, so if that's what she wants, it's her own fault. Stay strong for the baby. I hope you both have a safe pregnancy. My husband said that I was so different to his parents than I was to her. Something tells me there's more to this if her husband brings this up. There's two sides to every story. Am I the a-hole? No. But, as a fellow expecting mother in a current and high-risk pregnancy, let me tell you that this isn't really, or rather ought not to be, about you being angry with your mom and annoyed with your previously distanced family for now showing up with a million questions and unsolicited advice. Don't get me wrong, that stuff is all truly agitating. But it's not what you should be focused on. Focus on yourself and the life you are carrying. Do what works for you. Stay away from social media. Don't answer the phone or texts if you don't want to talk. Be selfish. You have the right and the obligation to be selfish right now. If you are happy with your team of treating physicians, stay the course and put your trust in them. If you have doubts, seek out referrals from known and trusted sources and feel empowered to make whatever changes to your medical team you need to in order to feel the most comforted during this time of uncertainty and distress. Not a hole, but also don't worry about it. Worry about taking care of you and yours. I'm sending you strength and support. Just let me know when your baby is born. I don't want to hear anything else. If she didn't mean it, she shouldn't have said it. All you did was agree with her. Not a hole. The next story is titled, 
Am I the a-hole for telling my brother that my niece and nephew weren't the first things on my mind when shopping for home decor? Okay, so I finally got to move back into my apartment and properly furnish it and decorate it. I had a damn good time buying a bunch of stuff, especially plants. I spent all weekend decorating my apartment and liked the outcome of it. I posted pictures on social media of my favorite rooms, living room and my bedroom. In the living room, I have plants up, a rather large bookshelf and on the lower shelves are my trophies. You know, not baby friendly. My apartment isn't baby proofed at all and won't be until I decide I want a baby. My brother called me and asked to see my apartment, so I showed him all of it. He seemed hesitant about something, so I asked what the problem was, and he said, It's nice, but that's not exactly child-friendly. I was confused and asked him to elaborate. He says, Well, what if niece and nephew spends the weekend over? They'll ruin everything because they have easy access to it. Instantly, I got annoyed. Like, I understand his point, but my thought process wasn't, Hmm, maybe I shouldn't get this because niece can get into it easily. It was me buying things I want because I liked it. So I told him that, I said, niece and nephew weren't the first things I thought about while shopping, and he hung up on me. My sister-in-law messaged me a super passive-aggressive text and ended it with, Glad to know you care about your niece and nephew's well-being. I've been sitting on this since yesterday because initially I felt I was in the right, but I sort of feel like the a-hole for what I told him. Am I the a-hole? Edit. I feel bad not replying to everyone, but the most ask is if I watch them on weekends before I moved. Yes and no. I watch them when they visited my mom and I still live at home. Other than that, I didn't, and I never told them I'd watch the kids when I moved, and my niece is five and nephew is three. Not the a-hole. When I was a kid and I wanted to spend a weekend with my grandparents, they traded houses with my parents because our home was kid-friendly and theirs were not. Sounds like they wanted to impose rather than have you spend quality time with them. Man, this is genius. Not a hole. Sounds like your brother and his wife are either annoyed that you're not an option for free babysitting, or that how dare you not think your niece and nephew are the most important things on the planet. The fact he went instantly talking about them staying with you shows it's likely the former. I definitely got the, could the kids stay with you this weekend while we do grown-up stuff? Vibe from this, yes. Not a hole. What a ridiculous attitude for them to take. Do they expect a single adult to have baby bumpers and covered outlets on the occasional chance that their cherubs graze the place? Edited to add, single as in childless, not commenting on your social life. Yeah, the baby-proofed tools all around and they expect me to have baby toys around for their entertainment if, slash, when they come over. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for telling my sister I won't move across the country with her or take care of my nephew anymore? A little backstory. I'm female 26. When I was 16, my mom moved her and myself across the world, UK to US, to be with my sister as she was going through IVF. I lost all my friends and drifted apart from family. I'm 26 now and finally really happy living here. I love my nephew. He's my best friend. I was technically his nanny for about a year and we are super close. Usually if I'm not working, I'm with him. Camping trips, theme park trips, adventures together. If my nephew wasn't part of the equation, I probably wouldn't even speak to my sister. Now she's decided they want to leave the state we live in and move to the other side of the country. And she expects us all to go. She's been asking me for almost two weeks. She's had my mom asking me, but I don't want to. I'm an adult and I will not have my life thrown into absolute chaos for her again. So I told her this as she was badgering me to move with them. She called me a dramatic witch and said I'm being completely unreasonable and it would be nice to have a change. I told her no, and if she's really planning on moving and taking my nephew, then she cannot rely on me for childcare anymore because it's going to break both mine and my nephew's hearts when we are separated and not 15 minutes away from each other. Now I'm the family villain and barely anybody is speaking to me because I'm so dramatic and rude. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Your sister wants to move and expects you to move as well so you can provide childcare? Is she nuts? You don't have to disrupt your life just so her life is easier. Why on earth is your family calling you dramatic? I take it your sister is the favorite child? 
Well, the mom moved the family to another country for her, so I think it's safe to say she's definitely the golden child. Not day hole. It's your life. You're not a child anymore. Your mom and sister have no right to uproot you. You don't even say why they want to move, so I'm guessing it's not a good one like a fantastic job opportunity. I know you'll be heartbroken to be parted from your little buddy, but it seems that the only reason they want you to move is to continue the free childcare. Be free, OP. Live life on your terms. Not at A-Hall. No wonder you say you would have nothing to do with your sister if it weren't for your nephew. And that's the end of this video, folks. As always, leave a comment and hit like and subscribe. And if you want more of this content, turn your notification on to get updated on the latest videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe.